Sadly, we are still in the midst of the pandemic, and though some countries are beginning to relax their lockdowns, there are still many weeks ahead of human uncertainty. But those that have already passed have given humans insight in many ways. One of the things that I've observed over the weeks is a loss of faith. There's a loss of faith in the world's ability to stem the spread of the virus, and to some extent in the ability of national economies to recover from the measures taken to prevent its spread. So what does it mean to have faith? Well, one dictionary definition states that faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. To me, this definition raises a fundamental question, which is, on what basis can anyone have complete trust or confidence in someone or something? The answer is that it comes down to consistency, evidence over time. Total unswerving consistency breeds total faith. Now don't get me wrong, I am fully aware that consistency is a neutral term, so it doesn't mean consistently good. In fact, consistency can be evil, and this would apply to the likes of Hitler, who was a, a consistent architect of the Holocaust events. Of course, with regard to faith, I'm talking about someone or something that produces consistently good outcomes. So in the case of people, the more consistently good outcomes they produce, the more faith we have in them. And herein lies the reason why there has been such a quick loss of faith in the world's ability to cope with the pandemic and its aftermath. There is no history of a pandemic for many, and no history with many of the people in power. So no pattern of consistency over time, and therefore nothing on which to base faith and trust. In fact, the problem with faith in anything or anyone in this world is that sooner or later it will be lost or at least severely weakened. For example, even after years of steadily improved healthcare systems around the world, the pandemic has seen them overturned and unable to cope in a matter of weeks. Likewise, when it comes to human behaviour, for example, neighbours who have lived side by side peacefully for many years can suddenly turn on each other in murderous ways. The genocides in Rwanda and Bosnia testify to this. Even when it comes to godly people, there is no absolute consistency. A statement made by a famous female preacher was that sooner or later everyone will let you down. This was not said as a condemnation, but an observation, because this world and the human race are flawed. So bleak news indeed, but does this mean we can't place our faith and trust in anything or anyone at all? No it doesn't, because followers of Christ know there is one who will never let them down, who is totally consistent and has been from the beginning of time. Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, never lets anyone who trusts in him down. The Bible states Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. And that's in Hebrews 13 verse 8. This means his character and action throughout all time have been absolutely, totally and unswervingly consistent. For example, reference to the Bible shows that he has never broken any of the promises he made. Actually, the Bible defines faith as confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see, and that's in Hebrews 11, verse 1. On the face of it, this seems to be a blind faith. However, there is nothing blind about it because faith in the creator of the universe, who transcends any human weakness, can be trusted. The Lord has demonstrated that he has been and continues to be totally and unswervingly consistent and trustworthy since the beginning of time. There is no stronger basis for faith than this. If you're not a Christian, let me challenge you to explore the Christian faith further. If you do this diligently and objectively, I know that you will discover a loving Christ in whom you can have total faith and have a future assured. If you're already a Christian, then I hope you feel encouraged in your faith. 
So thank you for being with me this week. Please join me again next week for another Spilling the Beans Insight. Until then, have a good week and God bless. Thank you.